Hi, I'm Denshi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own Matrix server on Debian 10. Now, I'm going to begin with the prerequisites over here. Obviously, you're going to need Debian 10. You're going to need Nginx and an idea of how it works. You're going to want the ports 80, the HTTP port 443, the HTTPS port, and 8448, which is the Matrix Federation port, all port forwarded on your router or modem or, or NAT or whatever it may be. And of course, your own domain with a DNS entry, an A DNS entry set to the public IPv4 4 or also IPv6 address of your server and some basic Unix knowledge of course just to get through the tutorial. Now before I go in and deep dive into how to do all this I will give a basic summary of what this will actually be accomplishing. So once you have your own matrix server you can get your own domain for matrix so as you can see I got my username over here is at denshi colon denshi dot live which is my domain it's a bit like an email uh, but instead of using an at in the middle it uses a colon in the middle and an at at the beginning. You can have your own chats which of course are hosted on the server itself. People can join them if they're public and create invite links to them and any account on any other matrix instance can join these chats and also join private chats with people on your server and on other servers because that's how federation works now for any of this to work of course you're going to need that 8448 port forwarded and we're going to take a look at how to set that up in nginx as well so it properly forwards the traffic encrypted also another thing you can do is go to explore rooms this is the element client for matrix so you can add new rooms here and you can go and see the rooms of other matrix servers well anyway Anyway, that's pretty much it for what you're actually going to be getting today. Now let's take a look at how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up that sweet, sweet Nginx configuration. So we're going to just copy paste this and add it to a new entry in sites available. So sudo vim etsy nginx sites available. We're going to name it matrix.masaria.xyz and we're going to paste all this in. Now we're going to want to change a few things in here. The first thing is the base URL here in the well-known client section. So this is what the server returns when somebody asks for a username with this specific domain. We're going to take a look at that in a demonstration once we're done with setting up the server. We're also going to set this section over here, the root, to something. It can be anything, but in my case, I'm going to set it to the server address. It's completely arbitrary, though. This part over here, of course, is important. This is the server name. I guess it's the matrix .xyz, which is the example URL for today. So I'm going to right quit. And now we're going to go down here and we're going to link the file, of course. So sudo ln s etsy nginx sites available matrix.masire.xyz etsy nginx sites enabled so now if you list etsy nginx sites enabled there it is right there matrix.masire.xyz all right that's just the basics of nginx really anyways now to install the actual matrix package copy paste this big block of text basically this adds the packages.matrix.org repository to your server just press enter over here and there you go now we're going to run sudo apt update and you'll notice that when we're updating our system there it is packages.matrix.org it's been successfully added all right we're going to run sudo apt install matrix synapse python3 or py3 and there it goes the actual matrix software during the install this little menu will appear it will ask for the name of the server we're gonna set this to matrix.masaria.xyz now if you're on arch linux or another distribution then you're gonna have to set this manually in the config but in our case this is done for us so we don't really have to worry about it it's gonna ask for reporting anonymous statistics i'm gonna say no all right so now that we've successfully installed matrix synapse let's take a look at the basic configuration we can make to make it a little bit more secure and more usable the first obvious thing is an ssl certificate so we can easily generate that with the certbot tool so run this command if you haven't already to install certbot and the nginx plugin for certbot so we're gonna run sudo certbot dash dash nginx calling that nginx plugin and dash d for domain matrix dot masaria dot xyz so wait for this to load it will generate your ssl certificate so mine's already here so i'm not going to regenerate it however i will reinstall it and by that i mean it's going to generate the configuration accurately in that nginx configuration so i'm going to press one over here and now it's going to ask if you want to redirect i will say number two you should always pick this when setting up certbot so i will redirect all insecure unencrypted traffic to encrypted traffic all right so that's done now let's actually take a look at how that turns out so as you can see here it, it redirected all traffic on port 80 to ssl in this file over here which is our nginx configuration file let's take a look at it with less and make sure that everything here is fine so as you can see port 443 that's the http port that's secure port 8448 that's the federation port that's also secure and if we go down here yes port 80 is being redirected to 443 so that's all good we can just quit over here by pressing q and now move on to the next step which is setting up the database so by default what Matrix will do 
is set up this database over here. So in var lib matrix synapse, it's gonna have this db file over here, which is a SQLite db file. Now this is okay for a small testing server. However, for any proper use, you're going to want a PostgreSQL server. So if you don't already have PostgreSQL, install it in your system with this command over here. And now we're going to start the daemon. Mine's already started, so I have to do that. And now I'm going to switch to the Postgres user and create a user for the Synapse database and then create the actual Synapse database. So we're going to do sudo su dash Postgres, just like that. And now we're going to create, now we're going to create user dash dash PW prompt is going to ask us for a password and I'm going to name him synapse underscore user just like that. I'm going to make the password one, two, three, four, just to be sure. One, two, three, four, a simple password so we can use it in the config. And as you can see, it did it. So now we're going to run this command over here. It's going to create a database for the synapse user, just this one over here center and yeah it created the database now we're going to list our databases with backslash l here in the psql menu as you can see and there it is synapse and it's owned by the synapse user and it's all formatted correctly so that's all good i'm going to just press q and i'm going to exit from the postgres and exit from the postgres user and now moving on we're going to have to change the actual configuration file so the configuration file for the matrix server is an etsy matrix synapse home server .yml. It's this one over here. We're gonna wanna go to the line, I'm gonna find it over here. Uh, there it is. These lines over here detail a basic PostgreSQL configuration that we can just uncomment and start using. But before we do that, we're gonna wanna comment out this, which is the SQLite configuration. So just put little commas in front of all these lines because we're not gonna need them anymore. And we're gonna go down over here, or actually up over here, and uncomment these lines, which are the lines for the Postgres configuration. And of course, as before, we set our password to 1234 for the Synapse user, so we're gonna put 1234 here. Now, obviously, you should probably set this to a little bit more of a secure password, just in case somebody gets into your server, but if somebody has access to your server, then there's pretty much no point in making a secure password, because they can just check this file and see the password. But anyways, there are a few more things you can change in this file, and we're gonna take a look at what they are. So scrolling down over here, the user registration part is quite important. We can enable registration to let anyone on the web sign up to our server, and we're gonna set this registration shared secret so we can register users as an admin, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna go to enable registration, colon. Yeah, there it is, that one over there, line 1143. I'm going to uncomment it and change this false to true. And I'm also gonna go to the registration underscore shared secret. There it is right there, line 1185. I'm gonna uncomment this, and I'm gonna set this to just a random string. Now you should make this a secure string because anyone with the string from remote can register an administrator user and mess up your server. However, this is not gonna be a public server. I'm gonna put this down as soon as this video is done editing. So yeah, I'm gonna set this to whatever, it can be anything. And now we're gonna right quit. We're going to want to restart the server. So restart matrix synapse and restart nginx. So we're gonna start our server for the very first time. And as you can see, it's done. Now we're gonna register our user. So just run this command over here. It should work without the need of uh, this your domain 8448 because we are not signing up people from remote. We're on the server itself. So we've accessed that configuration file. And we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna change this username to something. I'm gonna make it Denshi. I'm gonna make the password 1234. And I'm gonna make sure that the dash A option is passed. That's for making me an admin user. So pressing enter. There you go, it's send the registration request and it was a success. So now let's open up a new tab. I'm going to go to element and I'm going to sign into my server. I'm going to type in my username. So Denshi colon and the address of your server. So matrix .xyz. As you can see, it resolved it correctly. And my password is one, two, three, four. So we're going to sign in. And as you can see, we're in the server now. We're going to test the federation. First of all, we can go down here to the federation section and click on this link over here to get to the matrix federation tester. Our address is matrix.masaria.xyz. Actually, I'll put this on focus so you can see this better. Press go, and as you can see, it got a connection report and it succeeds with the checks. Now let's test it with the actual server. So if you click this little compass icon to explore rooms, we're gonna go to jitter.im for example, and as you can see, it shows those rooms. These are not rooms on a server, these are rooms on a jitter.im server. So this proves that communication between our server that we just set up and the entire matrix network is indeed functioning alongside of course that federation test but anyways there are a few more things you want to enable we want people to be able to add our server from the explore rooms section so they can actually explore it even if they don't have an account on it and we also want to make sure that people can access our rooms without authentication 
that's those two options over here. So back to the terminal, I'm closing this window. I'm gonna go back to that configuration file, Etsy, Matrix, Synapse, uh, home server.yml. And we're gonna go search for the allow underscore public rooms, there you go, without authentication. So this allows users to essentially not have to authenticate to see our public rooms so they can use an anonymous account to see them from remote if for some reason they want to see them and allow public rooms over federation this is important this allows people to add our server to their list of servers and allows them to see all of the public rooms from the server so that's the sort of obvious things you should set on by default another thing is the url previews we're going to take a look at that now url underscore preview enable there it is right there we're going to uncomment this to enable it and to make it work we also want to set a specific range of urls that are banned so i'm going to set these two because these are common local urls and i don't want those kind of things to be previewed here for whatever reason anyway now we're going to do colon right quit and we're going to sudo systemctl restart matrix synapse anyways that's pretty much it for setting up your very own matrix server there are a few things that i didn't cover like enabling experimental features like spaces and stuff which you might want to do however that's just here in the wiki you can just copy paste this and put it in your home server that yaml file this wiki page of course will be linked in the description please note this is meant for debian 10 buster different versions of nginx like later versions of nginx may struggle with this configuration because of the ssl and stuff it might try to find certificate that I can't find that it might give you an error when you first run it with this so just be wary of that but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up your very own matrix home server I've been Denshi goodbye